If you've ever seen this show before, you already know how important the millennial shopper is here in the United States. Millennials make up the largest block of shoppers, and what you might not know is that one-fifth of this group is Hispanic. I'm so happy to have Steve Pataffi here from Valori Foods to talk about this group and how to better connect. Great to have you here, Steve. Thanks. Happy to be here. I want to ask particularly about uh, the Hispanic shopping group in the United States. When we break that demographic down, what is it that you see? So, yeah, when we talk about Hispanics, I think the first first thing to really realize is, you know, we're kind of painting with a very broad brush there. So um, Hispanics in the U.S., about 70 percent of them are actually Mexican. So there's more Mexican in L.A. than there are Cubans or Puerto Ricans in the entire country. So kind of as you look at each one of those subgroups that make up the uh, Hispanic demographic, there really are a lot of differences. Uh, but with that being said, there's obviously some similarities, too. So in terms of connecting with this audience and for our suppliers, what are those similarities that we need to be aware of? Yeah, so I would say one of the biggest similarities is really just the change in the acculturation model that we've uh, seen over the past, we'll say, 15 to 20 years. So about 15, 20 years ago, you know, um, families would migrate into the U.S. and they would assimilate into American culture and they would do things like only speak English at home, right? And um, now that model's actually changed. So the demographic is still growing, but it's being it's growing because of just natural born American citizens here. So which has really created a population that's, you know, 100% bicultural, we could say. So they're 100% American, but they're also 100% Mexican or 100% Puerto Rican. Right? So as a shopping demographic, what is it that makes Hispanics unique to other groups? One of the things about them is they are just very brand loyal. So kind of, which is very refreshing for a lot of branded suppliers to see, I think, as we see the retail model in the U.S. sort of changing and we see such a focus on private label and private label initiatives. The nice thing about Hispanics is, you know, when it comes to their loyalty, if you're able to connect with them early with your brand and they learn to love and trust your brand, there's a lot of opportunity for you there. Now, if I'm a supplier and I, I don't traditionally carry Hispanic products, what do I need to do to connect with this, you know, very important consumer to make my product really jump off the shelf to uh, make them brand loyal? Yeah, so I think, you know, as we talk about traditional Hispanic products, uh, kind of like we just mentioned, you know, Hispanics in the U.S. today aren't, um, you know, they are bicultural, like we had just mentioned. So really, you know, Mexican families aren't sitting at home eating, you know, traditional Mexican meals. Mm. They're no different than you and I, and they'll branch out to different things. So, you know, as a supplier might look at their portfolio and say, hey, we have nothing that uh, grabs Hispanics, there's still the opportunity to really get with them and touch them. Now, with that being said, I just don't believe that a total market approach really works. So to put out a commercial around Cinco de Mayo where somebody's you know, speaking in Spanish, mm -hmm. that's not really uh, engaging the consumer at all. So my recommendation would be, you know, pinpoint that subgroup that you're really looking at. Are you looking at Mexicans? Are you looking at Puerto Ricans? Are you looking at Cubans? And then come out with something that's, you know, culturally relevant to them. All right, Steve, thank you so much for spending time with us today. Thanks for having me.